Well, today I'm excited because we have a 4G trail camera. It's from Digipetter. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, this camera is again 4G and has a live view through the app. You should be able to log in and view video feed of exactly what this camera is seeing out in the field. It is a 4K trail camera. It's advertised as a 36 megapixel uh, stills. I'm going to do a quick unboxing, show you exactly what you get inside here. I believe there's a solar panel, and I think it includes uh, your data SIM card that's going to get you up and operating. We're going to do a quick unboxing, but then more importantly, I'm going to be putting this out into the field, start collecting sample photos and videos to show you. I want to check out this live feed and exactly how that works and how well that works. All that coming right up, but first let's get into the unboxing. So again, here are some of the specs of the camera. You can pause that if you want to get a better look at the specs. Uh, but let's check out on the inside of the box. We do have two more boxes. So inside here, it's like we have a solar panel. So it does come with an included solar panel, a host of straps and different uh, cables. That's going to get you up and running. A uh, very small condensed uh, solar panel. It's in the one box, the next box. Inside the next box should be our actual trail camera. Again, a live video on the app. Uh, anxious to check that out. Does come with the included EIOT club. Again, I'm very familiar with this company. They provide some great uh, data for my 4G cameras and it's very affordable. This camera comes included with that. Also has a user's manual, has a micro SD card, 32 gig was included. Uh, has a USB thumb, thumb drive, also has a tree strap, uh, does have a metal uh, buckle there, although it looks chrome. Here's the actual trail camera. Uh, we'll take a closer look at that in just a second. Uh, but we also have a antenna for the 4G signal and it comes with a tweezers, I guess, uh, to in help you install that SIM card. Taking a closer look at the camera itself, it does have uh, three PIR sensors in your lens. A uh, place for your antenna up top here. Uh, on the side, there's two latches that allow you to open up uh, to access the inside of the camera. It does take eight uh, AA batteries. Also has QR codes here for the free app. Uh, over on this side, it does take a micro uh, SD card. And remember, that was included. Uh, over on this side, it has the SIM card is going to install inside there. We'll end up doing that here in just a second. Uh, it has a nice uh, display screen here that allow you to view back photos or videos uh, and also to set up the menu. On the back of the camera, uh, you can see your tree strap would fit through here. There is no place for security cable anywhere on here, although you could put a padlock uh, right here on the door. On the bottom of the camera, there is a quarter 20 mount and it also has an external power port. It's going to allow you to use uh, the included solar panel to power this camera. So next we're going to install uh, the included SIM card. Remember this is a 4G camera. It's going to run off of cellular data. It's included with a free plan to get you up and running. It says we can simply uh, install this into the camera, turn the camera on, and it should recognize this SIM card without doing any type of activation. So let's see if that works. So now we're armed with the instructions and our included SIM card that's going to give us our data signal. Again, this is pre-cut three different ways. Uh, we're going to leave it in the largest uh, portion of it, and we're going to carefully break that out. Uh, it simply comes out. If it does come apart at all, the three sections, you can clip them uh, back together. You want it to be uh, fully intact, just like that. Uh, next, we're going to install that on the side of the camera here. You should be able to just press that inside the camera and hear an audible click. It should stay uh, down flush. And I think that's what the tweezers are for in case you need to softly push that in. Don't force anything at this point. Uh, you don't want to cause any damage. So now I have uh, the included SD card for our memory uh, inside the camera. I have our SIM card uh, inside the camera. We have eight AA batteries. Uh, next, we should be ready to turn this camera on and see if we can set up that live feed. So now that we have all the cards installed in the camera, we have batteries in it and we have the camera powered up. We want to add this camera to our app so we can download the free app by scanning uh, the QR codes here. Works on both iOS and Android devices. Uh, we're going to download the app and set up an account. 
Uh, after we set up an account, we can click the plus button down here. Uh, we can add a new camera. It gives us the option to add a CIDR camera or a Wi-Fi. Uh, this is a CIDR camera. We're going to give it a device ID name. Next, uh, it asks us to scan the QR code for the device ID. Uh, that can be found by simply pressing uh, the menu button under network settings. We can click OK and then right there is device ID. Click OK there and we can scan the QR code. Uh, by scanning that code, it should allow us uh, to connect to this camera. Next, it allows you to name your camera. You can just put a custom name in to keep track. If you have multiple cameras, uh, you can keep track that way. And the final step, it says to enter the device uh, password. The initial password is located right here in the manual. Uh, you can change that for security reasons at a later time. Uh, after we finish that step, uh, it shows that we're done. We should be able to pull up a live feed. Uh, it says connect to device and we'll see if we can get a live feed of this camera uh, right now. In fact, here we are. Uh, it did give a live feed of this camera, so it worked on the very first time. That setup was uh, relatively easy, and we do have a live video feed uh, right here through the app. So next is the fun part. We're gonna be placing this camera out into the woods. We'll start collecting sample photos and videos. We'll see how that 4G uh, transmission, how quickly that works the type of quality you can expect from this camera, all that coming up next. So you've been watching some of the videos that were sent to me by the 4G cameras. I'm going to show you more sample videos and also some photos that the cameras have sent me. But first I wanted to do a demonstration of exactly how the live view works and what the app looks like. You can see when you open up the app I actually have two cameras running. Uh, so you can add multiple cameras onto this app. We're going to click right on the live view screen and that's going to bring up a screen that says connect device. We're going to connect device and we'll be doing this in live time so uh, as it happens you'll see it here see how long it takes uh, in the lower left corner we had a red dot and that turned green uh, that's the first step and that's a positive sign that the camera's uh, trying to connect or at least the app is trying to connect to the camera uh, it says device waking uh, we have a spinny thing there uh, it now changes the device connecting and we have a live view now this camera's on the edge of a woodlot looking out into the field and we got a live view, and I'm not sure how many seconds that took, uh, but probably 10, 15 seconds. Uh, that can vary on how much signal you have. Uh, sometimes it fails, you have to try it again, but this connected on the very first time, probably 10, 15 seconds. Let's go back out to the main screen. Gives you lots of information there. You can see I have about two bars out of three for signal. It gives you the temperature and the battery life. Uh, lots of information there. But if we click on the little gear icon, it brings up the settings. And in here you have full control of all the camera settings. Uh, you can go to the record settings and choose whether you want it on video or photo. Uh, the sensitivity settings for low, medium, and high. You can also click on the video resolution, lots of choices there, uh, gives you full customization of the camera through the app. Let's go back out again to the main screen and you can click on the cloud album. When you do that, it brings up all the previously recorded videos and photos. So you can simply uh, go through the different thumbnails, uh, pick any video, uh, click on it, and then you, it loads it and you can hit play. All that works very well in this app. I've had uh, no issues at all. Uh, we can go back and play a daylight uh, video for you. Uh, again, simply click on it, hit play. Uh, you can play through the videos that way. Also, if you click on the upper right of the screen, you can select videos and you can select uh, a video and it gives you the option to download that to your device. Uh, or you can delete the video uh, by selecting there. That's a great feature and I found this app very easy to navigate. 
Uh, one more feature, I wanna click on the upper left corner and here uh, you can see after sales. If you click on the after sales, it's gonna give you uh, the electronic manual to your camera, but it also gives you customer service. So if you wanna contact customer service or you're having a problem or a question, uh, you simply go into here to after sales, uh, report your problem and within 24 hours, uh, they promise to get back to you. I have not used this feature, I haven't had any problems, but they do have customer service through the app and they do advertise within 24 hours, you're getting a response. So here is the setup of my camera. I have the included solar panel mounted right above the camera there. It's a little bit more open area here, but I also have the second camera in a wooded area watching some deer trails. I'm gonna to continue to show you sample videos and photos that the cameras have sent me through the 4G signal, but it's now time for my final thoughts. For my final thoughts, I'm going to start out with the pros, and the pros is the 4G portion worked very well. The camera would send me the notification uh, that there was activity. You could go through and look at the cloud service on the app and see the photos and videos listed there, broken down into different days and different months. I thought the daytime photos and videos were excellent, and the nighttime were probably average or above average. The live view on the cameras was a great feature. Not many cameras have that, and it worked relatively well. Now, as I already mentioned, there were times where it failed to connect. Uh, I would simply retry it, and it would seem to connect, usually on the second, maybe the third try. But the live view is a great option if you have your camera uh, mounted remotely, you're far away from it. Uh, you can pull up that live feed and make sure your camera's still working, get to see exactly what the camera's seeing. I like it, and it's a great way to check in on the camera. Now let's talk about some of the cons, or at least some of the negatives that I think the manufacturer can work on. Uh, starting right off the bat, the strap. Uh, the strap's a no-go, in my opinion. Uh, it's very short, and it has a shiny chrome buckle. So shiny chrome is never good, especially when you're trying to conceal the trail camera uh, in the woods or out into the wild. Having a shiny buckle and having a very short strap uh, is not good. Now right along those same lines, another negative that I think is the mounting system on the back of the camera for the tree strap. Uh, it's all made of plastic, it's simply held on by one small screw. Uh, not only is it hard to feed your strap through, I just don't feel it's very sturdy and I'm sure one animal pulling on that or tugging on the camera could rip that right off the tree. The strap and the mounting system would stay to the tree and it would simply break that one screw off of the camera. So I think they can redesign that mounting system on the back of the camera. Uh, even the quarter 20 mount is on that plastic housing uh, that's attached to the camera by that one screw. Another thing is there's no option for security cable. Uh, if you look on the back of the camera, again, there's just no place to stick a Python cable through there. So if you're looking to secure this camera, you're gonna have to get creative uh, from the factory. There's no simple way uh, to run a Python cable with this camera. The last negative I wanted to touch on is uh, the battery life. Now they have the included solar panel, which is great, but from my testing, that solar panel will not keep after with this camera if you have it set to immediate transfer. And what I mean by that is in the app, you get to choose when it takes a photo or a video, how quickly it sends it to the app. Now on most all 4G cameras that I have, I like that to be immediate. You know, there's something about that immediate satisfaction of knowing that camera just took that photo or video, it sends it to you and you know right away. When I tried running these cameras on that immediate setting, uh, the battery life uh, was pretty bad. In fact, that solar panel, even on sunny days, could not keep after and the camera would go dead. I had to go into the settings and reduce that down to sending me the photos or videos only once or twice a day. When I put it on that uh, lower setting, the solar panel was able to keep after then, but overall, I would say the battery life is less than average. So those were my final thoughts, the pros and cons as I saw it after using this camera. Excellent daytime photos and videos. Uh, that live view uh, option is great. I really like that and connected on the first try most times. One thing I did want to touch on is the data rates. Uh, with that included SIM, I chose the $8 per month or that's if you prepay for a full year, it's $8. If you wanna pay month by month, I think it's around $10. Uh, but those are pretty affordable rates and even sending 30 second videos, uh, I came nowhere close to two gigs in one month. 
Uh, now keep in mind when you do view, the live view, you're going to be using data that whole time. So if you can limit yourself uh, to not simply sit there and watch for long periods of time on that live view, uh, you should have no trouble with that 2 gig per month. There are plenty of options on the EIOT Club website, uh, but my choice was the 2 gig per month. And if you prepay for a year, get it for $8 a month. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments section. I not only enjoy hearing from you, I try and get back to each and every one of you. There's also gonna be a link down in the description to this camera and solar panel. Uh, feel free to check it out if you want more information or maybe you would like to purchase one for yourself. Again, I wanna thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.